Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Yo B. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you're not already subscribed, I think you should subscribe to the channel, like, right now. Stop what you're doing and subscribe to your boy's channel. Appreciate you. Hey, so today's video, I want to talk to you about a time when I was doing a uh, Uber drive. Um, and um, I was talking to these guys about relationships. And it's the time where everything was cool, you know, before the whole COVID-19 thing. And um, also when you can do, uh, like, those uh, shared rides. Um, so we was talking about, you know, girls, relationships and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And, uh, so we was talking about, oh, you know, why girls always ask what you do? You know, girls always, you know, always ask guys what you do, like online dating and stuff like that. And, uh, cause I know I used to get asked that question all the time. I'm like, man, why girls always ask what you do? I'm get tired of that. Like, can we talk about something else? Like, why does it matter what I do? Get to know me first besides like how much money I got, what type of work I do. I mean, I know that's like getting to know you, but like, why is that always important first? You know, I don't know why, but it seems like it's always important first for a woman, which I get it. They want to know, you know, if a guy making enough money to support them, but like, I don't know, just kind of, uh, just kind of frustrating when women always ask what you do, what you do, what you do. Uh, but anyway, so, um, we, many these guys are talking, it was two guys in the back, we was talking and everything like that. Um. Uh, so in like maybe five minutes to the conversation, we had to go pick up this girl. So of course she's sitting in the front and then, uh, so she came into the conversation. So I asked the girl, I said, why girls always ask what you do, what you do, what you do? And she was like, oh, she started laughing a little bit. She's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Ha, ha, ha. And, uh, I'm like, man, girls always ask that question. And, uh, so I said, well, if I worked at Mickey D's flipping burgers, for five dollars an hour that'd be the last message i get from this girl right and she started laughing and everything and um so so i was about to drop the girl out first and the girl i don't know she she seemed kind of uncomfortable a little bit and then we was continuing to talk i was like well i worked at mcdonald's before and you know when i was younger and i felt like it wasn't like a uh, embarrassing thing for me to tell a girl I was working at McDonald's. Like, at least I had a job, you know what I mean? At least I can pay for the date. If we go to the date, uh, if we go to the 99 cent store, I can, I got you on that, you know? Um, but, uh, as I was about to drop her off, I see the golden arch. And the sign is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I looked over and I looked at her shirt. Oh my gosh, she had the golden arch on her shirt. I was like, ah, oh, damn. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to you know, offend you about talking about McDonald's, I didn't know, you know, I was just talking about, hey, you know, if I worked at McDonald's, you know, that'd be the last message I get from the girl, so I'm thinking that's why she said, oh, I don't know, I don't know, uh, when I asked her about it, but when she left, the guys was like, you know, dude, I bet you feel like an asshole, and I was like, you know, yeah, I kind of do feel like an asshole, but to me, it's like, if a guy got a job, and then he able to, like, pay for a date, and uh or just like he's a nice guy it shouldn't be about you know if he got a lot of money or not as long as he's a a genuine guy or a genuine lady it really shouldn't matter what type of work um a guy does or a female does i think if you guys like each other you know what i mean uh and you guys help each other out and you know the guy can take you out on a date and pay for it you know sometimes i don't think that's a problem if a guy working Mickey D's or if you work at any other little restaurant or something like that. Especially nowadays. It, I mean, a lot of people would love to work at McDonald's. You know what I mean? And this is not down to anybody that work at McDonald's now. Um, this is just my story. I just thought it was pretty funny. Um, you know, speaking of McDonald's. You know, your boy had to get them McDonald's fries. You know what I mean? All right, McDonald's talk got me hungry. But, um, anyway, so, you know, a little relationship advice. When you're in a relationship or you're trying to get to know somebody or you just dating somebody or whatever, don't look at that person like what he can do for you or what you can do for them or what type of work he does. Just, it should be like how he treats you. Or how she treat you, or how you treat her. I mean, so you know, it's it's a it's a combination of both. You know, so I feel like 
you know, especially with today's um, reality, I just feel like, you know, you know, teamwork make the dream work, you know, like they say, teamwork make the dream work. So, you know, you know, I have relationships like that and I dated women, you know, um, well, most of the women I dated, they didn't really care what type of job I had. Um, but I'm just saying, so like, if you're on the search for a partner and you're in the dating scene, I don't think it really matter like what a person does, especially now. If a person got a job, you got a job, or she got a job, you know, whatever. But I don't know. You know, that's just my thought. I thought I would share that story because I thought it was pretty funny, pretty interesting too because it was just kind of kind of uh, awkward for a moment. Um, but if you had any crazy life experiences and I think that uh, you should share them, you know. Um, comment below, you know. Um, let me know, uh, you know. So, yeah, tune in for the next videos. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good day. Peace out.